Detroit Lions offensive breakdown, little mini ebook for you guys out of the Detroit offensive playbook. If you guys want to check out my entire Detroit offensive ebook, I'm going to be dropping it in our school community. If you're not a member yet, that's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks over there. And we are going to be starting out and we're going to be talking about why this playbook uh, is really good. It has kind of a unique formation uh, this year. I'm going to sub out my double or nothing so we don't get absolutely crazy and shedded. And let's go through this Detroit Lions playbook. So they have wing pair, heavy. I don't even know what this formation is, but it's good. <laughs> um, they have deuce close, deuce close, uh, decent deuce close. Got a one trap. So any deuce close that has traps, pretty decent. Uh, wing stack, you got jet sweep. You've got uh, some decent passing here. And then tight wild flex. We got wide zone, jet sweep. Do we have trap? This is really good. So I like to audible into this. So like wide zone. I like to audible down in the trap. I got under curl. And then I've got uh, jet sweep. So I love this little under center kind of mini scheme out of this. They have a decent uh, goal line. I form, I form wing type deal, which is pretty decent for running down in the goal line. Um, and then the best thing about this playbook, though, is – their shotgun formations have a couple of different uh, – this doubles off nasty. I think this is a new formation that they have. This is pretty decent. Um, tight way off weak. It's got flood. It's one of the only uh, tight way offs that have flood. And so it uh, has flood, post wheel, drag, and then you can kind of create mesh spots. So I really like this formation. I like to put post wheel drag up here. And then really, I don't care whatever, whatever you want to have here. The RPO is pretty good. The tackle trap is crazy good. Um, so you have some, some kind of unique stuff that you can do out of this formation. They have this bunch Y flex formation that has this RPO um, RPO alert out. If I could find, I don't know where, I totally must have ran right over the top of that. I don't know how I did that. Okay, RPO alert out. You want to have that in your audibles. Um, I think it has smash return. You want to have smash return, RPO alert out. Verticals, if you don't want to have verticals, you don't have to. You could go with this 83 choice uh, play, but I really like to have, uh, I like to have verticals in there. And I like to have floods. These are my main plays out of this book. Uh, Bunch X Nasty. This has that motion post play that we were talking about out of Chargers that was really good. Motion cross post. It also has uh, the motion RPO zone alert out. And then what I like to do is the motion Y corner under with that little smash return route really good. And then it has just kind of some really good all-around plays. Uh, if you like, it has a basic smash return, which is good. It, I mean, they just have some really, really good plays in this little playbook here. I think this is one of the better uh, bunch nasties. I probably, um, if I had to make a decision, it's going to be between mesh spot and this, um, where did that play go? Y option, not pivot. Uh, what was that play I was looking at? The drive like or smash return, yeah, smash return. That's how I would do that. And then uh, tight open, they have sh uh, so what's really cool about their tight open is they have these like short corners. So drive stutter flat has like a short corner in it. It also has mesh spots, so you get that running back wheel bench return. One of my favorite plays this year. So they have some cool stuff out of this motion or uh, mesh clear out. I think I'm gonna put that instead of mesh spot. Mesh put mesh clear out in here. A little better routes there. Uh, but this is the reason why you call this formation is because of their trips tight end. And this is a formation we're going to be spending some time in in this video. Trips tight end flex. It's kind of uh, – it, it's really good. And the reason why it's really good is for this play motion Y post. I'm going to go over that play. Uh, but we got verticals, audibles wise. We got verticals. We got PA crossers. Uh, love these two plays here. And then from there, what I would do is probably just another motion play. Um, got got some kind of unique plays in here, honestly. Uh, and you can do – if you want to have all passing plays, you can have that. Uh, just the basic inside zone I think is fine. Motion hitch and go has a little Texas route. It has a post route. Uh, motion fork choice has that guy on a motion post route. I probably personally am just going to go motion hitch go here. Uh, and then we're going to be coming out in motion post and giving you a little mini scheme. Uh, our little mini breakdown out of this. So motion Y post, super good. And the reason it's good is because of the cheap motion, but it's also good because of this tight end post. So if you put the tight end, and I don't care if the tight end is flexed out or he's a regular tight end, if you put the tight end on a post, you see how it's like more vertical. If I have this play though, this is a short post. This is a very, very good post route. So what I like to do here, real simple, um, is we're going to streak triangle, and then we're just going to drag this outside player and block our running back. 
And basically, this is the combo. I love this play. And the reason why it's really good is because you have a high-low in the middle of the field. That post is a high-low with that drag. Now, you can stem um, you can stem this post up as well. So if you want to have a stemmed post, you could have double post out here like this. I'll show you some other combos you can do out of this. But what's really nice about this tight end post is it cuts sharp. It, so it beats man really well, and it gets under zones, under those deep blue zones, really, really well. So let me show you that one more time here. So drag uh, or streak triangle, this guy like this. Now watch what happens. So you got this motion over, and then watch this tight end post just kind of cut sharp and gets into a really nice spot on the field, really hard to defend. Um, really, really hard to defend in that situation. So the other reason why I like this play uh, is because what a lot of people like to do against against this is they love to play cover two. Uh, they love to play cover two here on the uh, on the right side. So let me see if I can actually get this guy to go into a cloud flat. I don't know why he's not. There we go, cloud flat. So I, a lot of people really like to play cover two on this. This cheat motion is so good against cover two. A um, couple different ways you can run it. I really like this version right here. I think this is pretty decent. I would definitely stem the tight end post up just a tick. And this setup right here is really good because you have the running back streak. And this kind of gives you a little bit more of a vertical type feel. But what's nice is that that, that uh, fade or that motion like wheel route type route is going to kill cover two. So they can't really run cover two to that side. Now, the other thing that they can do is they can soft squat. And I wanted to talk a little bit about soft squats. And this is why um, I would never run this route combination unless they're soft squatting. So you want to kind of look at that. Because as you see here, if they soft squat, then he runs with him. And it's, it's a sloppy play at that point. So if I'm calling this play and I'm kind of specifically adapting it for somebody that is soft squatting, what you want to do is just leave this flat route here. And then what I would do is I would still do the backside route combo like this. I don't really like the return route um, with the cheap motion. You'll see there the soft squat will drop down almost like a hard flat, and then that route, uh, that route will get open. Now, the way you get that route open a little bit more than what I just showed, let me show that again. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to stem the tight end post up one tick to kind of pull the deep half inside and make him commit a little bit more vertical. And... Of course, I get instant shutter by Charles Haley on a send three, by the way. But we'll show it to you one more time. So, again, you have the cheap motion. You streak this guy, and then you you have uh, this kind of stemmed up. So it kind of, like, feels like a streak, but it's really a post. And then you just want to be a little quick on your reads. You've got to get this out here to the right side. You don't want to wait on this. You want to get it out here. But as you can see, when you stem that tight end post up and you have a flat route, the soft squat plays like a hard flat. And so then you're able to manipulate that coverage like that. So what we force them to do on the right side is we force them into a cover four or a cover three if they're going to play zone. Now, another reason why this is good is if they do play, uh, if they do play like a, a man to man, let's say they play like shaded down man. This is something you're starting to see a lot of people like to go to, shaded underneath man coverage. Even if they have the um, even if they have the deep half defender, you're gonna notice here that this shade, a lot of times this guy can just get on top of the on top of the defender and get up and over the top of his uh, shoulder. So that's something potentially that you can hit. If there is no safety help in that situation, then it'll be a little bit better as well, of course. And then the other thing I want to show, this is why I love this play against man coverage this year. So against man coverage, uh, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit your drag. A lot of times that cheap motion is, is something that you can hit, but the main route against man is this tight end post. It's one of the better man beating routes in the game. Now, Night Train is, is uh, well, I think I just have pick artists on him. So let me show this again. And we'll talk a little bit more about how to actually beat man. But just as a base setup, oh, I wanted to show this. So you see how he kind of gets that inside position. You can add catch it. The bottom line with this post is it's really good. And it will be, in general, another thing you can do is you can use the stem curl trick if you want to do that. But really, you know, I just think just this basic combo right here is, is typically going to be enough. I'll talk a little bit about the running back as well and how to use him in this play. There you see a little bit better the capability that this play has to beat man. So let's say that we uh, block our running back and we run the route combo like this. And again, this is against man coverage. What you're going to see, watch this circle receiver. Sometimes you see how they see how the man coverage kind of busts. 
like there's like two people trying to press the tight end. So what can happen is this circle route can just kind of clear. So it doesn't always, but it's worth a look. If he has a step, throw it. If he doesn't, don't. Basically, I know that's a very simple thing, but you do want to look out there. And if he's open, I want you to throw the ball. If he's not open, I don't want you to throw it. So you're kind of looking. Sometimes it busts, sometimes it doesn't. So like right here, it doesn't look like it's going to bust. Okay, then we take our tight end route, which is almost always going to win against man coverage. Okay. And then the other thing that you have going for you is let's say you want this to be like an all-out man-beating play. So if you want this to be an all-out man-beating play, what you want to do is you want to drag or slant this, um, this receiver right here. You want to then post your outside receiver, and you want to stem him up one tick. So it looks like this. This is an all-out man uh, man and man killer. And basically what you're looking for here is your slant or your post. Normally your post will get even more open without the cheap motion, I've noticed. But in general, um, the post is available with the cheap motion. So, again, this is just going to leverage the power of a return route over here on the left side. And then you have kind of the post going over the top. So if you want to block your running back, be my guess. You don't have to. Um, but I like this combo as well. Again, there's just a lot of stress in the middle of the field with this route combination, which is what makes it, I think, pretty decent. Another underrated um, route combination that I like to run is uh, using utilizing a speed out. So using the speed out, we're going to stem him up to about 15 yards. One quick rule of thumb with this is you've got to run your trips to the wide side. So your trips is always going to be to the wide side of the field. So if you're on the right hash, your trips will be normal to the left. If you're on the left hash, you would want to flip your play. That way you have the best spacing you could possibly have. But something like this combo right here is a high-low read to the left. We're really looking for the speed out. And this speed out is a good route in this game to be able to kind of manipulate hard flats. Um, but, but really, and I like to pair it with a streak here and then we can put the running back underneath. So we still have kind of that cheap motion that they have to kind of worry about over there. They're putting all that energy over there and then we can just throw this speed out and I don't pass lead that. I just kind of throw it as is. We'll go over a couple of other, there's a lot of really good, um, one of my favorite plays is this right here. I think this is a really good combo. Put the running back on a little streak. So what will happen is these yellow zones will basically run to that tight end, and then this running back will just kind of sneak out of the backfield. I love that combo. I think that's a pretty decent one. Um, and then if you wanted to, um, another thing that you could do is go to that motion hitch and go. So you see on this motion hitch and go, we have a post here on the left side. So what I like to do here is we're going to just flat the slot receiver, and then we're going to drag our tight end like this. And the reason I like this combo is you have that cheap motion, so they have to worry about that over there. But look at this post kind of just get into a soft spot against the zones and get into a soft spot against that defense. So the other reason why I really like this specific route combo is another read that you're going to be able to make is this yellow zone on the left side really struggles to get underneath enough to defend this running back Texas route in combination with this other route. So what you get a lot, this is a very common trips adjustment. They'll take this guy and they'll man him up on triangle and then they'll have hard flats like that. And the reason they're doing that is really for the verticals play, which we don't even necessarily need to get into everything with the verticals play. But what's going to happen is we go to this motion hitch and go with this flat route. So it looks like this. And then that tight end drag. So watch what happens defensively. There's nobody in this left side yellow zone, which is very common with the mo way most people play defense. And so that's going to be a read that you can make consistently against that. So you have that in your arsenal as well. Um, there's just a lot of stuff with this formation that you can do. A um, little cover three beater if you want to try to manipulate cover three coverage. The, a very simple cover three beater is the play PA cross. And you're just going to streak this uh, – um, you're going to streak this inside trips receiver, drag this tight end or this um, outside guy's corner route the tight end. So it looks like this. And you can stem the corner down one. I would stem it down one. I wouldn't stem it all the way down. And this short side corner can still be thrown. You see I can put it in a, a sharp or, or soft spot against the zone. And then the other thing that you're going to be able to do against – most defenses, especially those, because again, remember, we're forcing them into cover three or cover four on that side. So we're forcing them into a coverage that is going to be very vulnerable to this deep crosser, 
right here, which is going to be able to manipulate that. And again, oftentimes they're going to switch stick onto that third to go guard that tight end route. Well, they got to worry about that route too. So you have that. And then if they guard both of those, you have the check down in the middle of the field. So that's another thing uh, that you have going for you. If you want to run this combo, this combo is not terrible as a mix-in. It's not like a, a money play this year, but it's like a mix-in play. You still have this combo. So you can run all your trips combos that you want to run. But now you have this little cheap motion play that I think is super effective against a lot of different defenses. This, this play right here really does break down a lot of different defenses. I would, I would still suggest dragging that receiver on the left just because I feel like he kind of gets into a soft spot. And then look at that tight end, just replace him. And it's just the, the, this just spaces the field really, really well. Um, and then the other thing that we wanted to go over here is just in general, like a corner route kind of play. So if I want to run a corner route to the right side, I typically want to do that with my slot receiver here. So what I like to do is put him on a corner. I'm going to stem him all the way down so it looks like this. And then this is where I like to motion. And kind of up to you uh, in terms of how you motion, how you want to motion this. But what I normally am going to do is typically just a motion slant and then a block of the running back. I think this is a decent combo. You have that little high-low read on the left side, and you're really just looking for this corner route. Most of the time, they're going to switch stick onto the corner route. And so when they switch stick onto the corner route, then what you're going to do is you're just going to take what the defense gives you, and you're just going to check it down to your, run, your tight end. And then if they switch stick onto the yellow to take that, then you're going to be able to throw your, um, you're going to be able to throw your backside slant. So it's just a nice little uh, – what I like about this offense is it attacks the entire field. Um, I really like that about that, especially with this cheap motion. You're able to just attack so many different parts, um, so many different parts of the field within this offense. PA cross, um, you know, another way you could run this if you want to use this kind of deep post, you could do something like this. This play is really good still too. And I just like kind of that, that tight end route. I think that that tight end and Super good route, and it's really another key reason uh, why you want to be in this if you're going to be running trips. Got a little Texas route here as far as how I could build around this Texas route. One underrated thing that I don't see a lot of people doing out of trips uh, out of this formation will be to seam streak this guy. So situationally, again, we talk about like they're forced into cover four. So if you have a seam streak right here, the beauty of this is you can just throw this and then just inside cut off, cut it off. A lot of times you'll catch that route, um, especially one of the main adjustments that I see a lot is a cover three like this. If they're playing a cover three like this, another way that you can kind of manipulate this cover three is with this cheap motion where you have this uh, tight end streak. Now, as far as what do you want to do on the left side? I might even do something as simple as just a backside drag and a backside return route. Don't really care what you do on that side. The main thing I want you to, to make sure that you're doing here is just taking advantage of putting that defender in a ton of conflict. So the main thing we're looking for on this is we're looking for this tight end vertical. If we have it, um, you know, you're not always going to have it, but if you have the tight end streak, I just think this is a decent route combination. And then, you know, I would even do something like a streak and a backside drag, just something simple uh, to put this – you know, to put this together here, you know, but then you can even throw this on the sideline. You see how good this offense is. So this is the trip side and flex out of the Detroit Lions playbook. If you guys want to check the rest of the Detroit ebook out, make sure that you join the school community. Um, we'll be dropping this in the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard, 10 bucks, get you access to everything. All of our offensive ebooks, defensive ebooks, both for college and for Madden, always drop a new step over there for our members. So if you want to sign up, the link is in the description below.